Now I'm just going to go through the processes of um, painting a door frame or a door jam. Now this frame has already been sanded and dusted off and it's ready to go. Um, so the first thing you want to do is actually to paint um, the back edge. Now the reason why you start the back edge is because the door. Now if you went through and painted the rest of the frame first, what would happen is when you go to do the back edge, you'll obviously want to get to the back edge so you'll shut the door. Now the chances are if the wind catches it or something, the door will actually blow closed and actually hit your freshly painted door frame. So you don't want that happening. So what you need to do is paint the back edge first, then open the door and leave it open. And that's where it stays for the remainder of the door frame. So once you've done your back edge, um, then go up and start painting the top. Now when you're um, painting, do your flat bits first and then do the face. Also, um, you want to stop at that edge and leave that face for when you're actually painting the outside. So once you finish painting the inside of the top, then move on to the side, paint that side all the way down, and once again, leave this face until you paint the outside of the frame. So once you finish that, then you'll need to go through and paint the, um, the hinge side. So once you finish the hinge, edge, then bring the rest of that face all the way down and just remember to always lay off as you're going through. Um, try to lay off in nice long strokes so it ends up with a nice even finish. So once you've done the, the face here, it will be time to cut it in. Now you don't do the, the front face, always cut the sides in first. Now the reason for this, if you were to do that face and then try to cut it in, while you're cutting in, some of the hairs of the brush will actually obviously get some paint on that face and obviously damage it. So you want to make sure you cut the edge in first, but then come down and do the face, and that way you'll be left with a nice, a nice finish. So once you've finished doing that face, then it'll be time to do the top. And once again, just do the flat bits first, and then do the face and obviously continue over on the other side exactly the same. Now one of the main reasons for doing it in this order is when it comes to doing all your corners, you want to keep all the corners wet as possible so you can get them nice and even. So by doing the method I'm showing you, all the corners will be nice and easy to work with because they'll all be wet. So hopefully that's helped and um, yeah, as I said that's just been a bit of a a demo on um, how to paint a door frame.